Hello, my name is Sally Coselli. In this brief video, I'll demonstrate how to use Serago and create questions as part of a learning set in this platform. Serago is an adaptive learning technology that uses artificial intelligence. Similar to quizzes, where students can complete a set of questions and provide answers for them, Serago allows students to keep on practicing those questions until they reach a certain level of retention. A level two retention, it means that they will remember a concept from weeks to months. So let's get started. So once we have logged into Serago, we go under the courses and then locate our course. In this case, I have a POL 102 as a test course. If you have the permissions to create courses, then you can click to create a course here on the top right. So in this case, I have this course and I also have the framework for an assignment. If you wanted to create a new assignment, you'd click here on add under the assignment area and then choose learning sets. Learning sets allow the students to keep on practicing up to the time that you allow them to do so and also up to the level that you specify for that particular learning activity. Click on New Learning Set and simply give it a name and then click on Create. Once you create the activity, it will take you directly to the editing mode for uh, adding the questions for this learning activity. Now, in our case, I'm going to go back to my course and we're going to assume that we want to work on an existing learning set. It still has no questions, but I want to demonstrate how you edit an existing activity and add questions to it. So we click here on set one and then click on edit assignment. On the left hand side this is where we'll see all the questions that are part of this learning activity. Now for this learning activity we can add a page. It can be an image or it can be a, a presentation or a video and so on or we can upload a PDF document. This is to give them general information to prepare them for one or more questions that you will present to them later. So in our case, we are not going to use a page for now. We are just simply going to create questions and add questions to this learning activity. And we are going to select just a question and answer option for now. So we click on add question and then we type the question here. One of the tips for the questions, you don't want to do very tricky questions and answers. This is mostly about concepts that you want your students to remember from weeks to months uh, and even once the course is over, depending on the level of retention that you set on the activity. So for example, how long it took for uh, the framers of the U.S. Constitution to put the Constitution together? So that would post it as a question like this. And then notice you have the correct answer here. You could add images if you chose to do so, and then you put in the answers. And obviously the correct answer, you want to put it as the first one, or you can put it elsewhere, but it needs to have that correct answer option. You can explain and provide additional details as to why this is the right answer as the students practice. Further below here, you want to add the detractors. Here, the system will provide you with some smart answers and then add another answer and another one. Here you have the option for graduated difficulty. This means that Serago, the Serago platform will dynamically adjust the difficulty of this material on previous student behavior. So if they are guessing it, then it will reframe the question and present the answers a different way. So typically you want this option enabled. So now we are done with the first question. Then we click here on the left hand side on the green plus sign and we click on new question and select question and answer would be who does a U.S. senator represent? And then you put in the correct answer as a first option. And then notice on the right hand side, you'd have additional options that the system is providing for you. So let's say that would be one of the detractor answers and you can simply choose to select it. And again, you use the graduated difficulty 
as necessary. Another way to represent the questions is by using a fill in the blank option as part of the multiple choice questions. So if we click to add the third question, question and answer, and let's say we want to present the concept that the United States government went into operation under the Constitution in February 1790. So you could frame that. You could make it as a question like we did for the previous two questions, or you can frame it as a statement and then put in the correct answers. Here we could use additional recommended options or enter other detractors manually. And let's assume that these are all the questions that we want to present for this learning set. We click here on Start Preview, and then the questions will look like this. So the student will be presented with a statement first, and then right below it, they'll need to pick the appropriate answer. If it's incorrect, then it'll tell them that it was not, and they'll keep on practicing until they reach a certain level of retention that you set for this learning set. Now we'll close this, and if you're wondering as to where you set the level of retention for this learning activity, we'll go back to the course details. And then if we go to this particular learning activity under the properties for learning set one, notice this has been defined for goal 2.0, which is weeks to months. And it should take the students about 10 days to continue practicing for a few minutes each day on the concepts that they are forgetting. So that's how you add questions to a learning set in Serago.